he went to the park that day with his nanny and um, some cousins of his. And they had played all day. And I guess they were checking the pool and had them out and cleaning it. And while he was out, he had dropped his penny. I guess there's a little grassy area there by the picnic tables. And he had dropped his penny and bent over and got it. And I guess they'd been playing in that little area. And he said, they said he screamed like something had, you know, bitten him. And he wasn't for sure either what had did it. Um, so they took him over thinking it was a bee sting. Um, the paramedics there thought it was a bee sting also and put um, sting medicine on it and, and gave him ice to hold on it. He then even got back into the pool and they said within five to ten minutes his fingers was already turning purple and swelling. Um, so they sent a picture to um, his pediatrician, Dr. Fight, and he told them to um, give him Benadryl and get him to the ER, which was a miracle, thank God for that. And um, they got him there, his little fingers just kept swelling. Um, the doctor there sent him to UK, flew him there. And the time I got to, to UK, like I said, they just kept getting bigger. It was all the way up his arm. They had marked it. Um, pretty low at Pikeville, and the time we got there, it was almost at his shoulder. Um, but after, I think they gave him a total of like 12 balls of the Crofab, which is the anti-venom. After that, um, you know, a lot of the swelling came down, except in that third finger. His third finger is still pretty bad. Um, we're going to have to dress it and, you know, check it um, one to two times a day. Um, he goes back next Wednesday uh, to the plastics team so they can, you know, just check it. They think that it'll be a, re uh, you know, a full recovery, hopefully. Um, one side of his finger, he can feel good. The inside of that finger can't really feel very much. Um, but they're thinking that it's just where it's still swollen still. And, and they, they cut it open and they, they uh, cut off all the dead from that finger and it looks way better than it did. So hopefully everything will be good. The park ranger came and, and seen him and um, he had called me and, and checked on him. Um, and, you know, he, he apologized multiple times and he said they had had a lot of, you know, run-ins with, with copperheads. Mm -hmm. um, but he said none had ever bitten, you know, anybody and actually... Um, that he had known of that while he had been there. Um, I know they said they had removed a few. I just want people to be aware that, you know, be careful because that's the last thing I would have thought would have happened, you know, to my baby at a water park. And I know that snakes are everywhere and that you should always be cautious of them no matter where you're at. But, you know, when you're out at a water park, I guess that's just something you don't think about. And, you know, a lot of times the grassy area is where you lay your towel out or, you know, you just, I guess you just don't think about stuff like that, but just be cautious.